Hey team, this is Miss H. Today's activity is all about jump rope. So you're going to need a jump rope in order to complete today's challenge. If you don't have a jump rope, no big deal. You can use pretend jump rope with just spinning your arms, or you can get creative and make your own jump rope out of recycled bags and duct tape. There are five different levels you're gonna work your way through today, and they're each gonna get harder as you level up. Remember our pledge that we took in PE this year. I will do my best, I will not give up, and I will learn how to jump rope. If you can remember those three pledges we made, I promise you, you will learn how to jump rope. As always, do your best and forget the rest. Let's get ready for level one. Here we go. two is we're just going to practice our turn and then jump. Remember the cues that we used in PE this year. Turn first, then jump. If this is too easy for you, feel free to go ahead and start turning and jumping at the same time. Remember, we turn first, then jump. Here we go. If you want to break the steps down, it looks like this. We turn, jump ropes in front of our body, jump over the rope. Turn, jump over the rope. Turn, Jump over the rope. Level three is our single or double bounce. Think of a cheeseburger. If you order a single cheeseburger, it only has one patty on it, which means you're jumping one time every time you turn the jump rope. The other option is a double bounce, which means two jumps. Just like if you order a double cheeseburger, you're getting two patties on one sandwich, which means every time you turn the jump rope, you're jumping two times. So here's a single bounce. level, level four, is our backwards jump, which means the rope is going to start in front of your body. You're going to turn the rope backwards and then jump. Remember, turn first, then jump. Here we go. Level five is your last challenge. We're trying to get five to 10 jumps in a row with minimal mistakes. Let's see how well you can do. Remember, don't give up. You can do this. Here we go.
awesome job today, team. I really hope you enjoyed the jump rope challenge. This is a great activity for you to do at home and doesn't require a lot of equipment. Remember, get creative if you don't have your own jump rope at home. This is a lifelong skill that you can do whether you're five years old or 50 years old or even 85 years old. Jump roping is one of my favorite activities that we get to do in PE. So I hope that you keep working on your skills. As always, do your best and forget the rest and we'll see you next time.